Ah? Huh? This is a high technique. Hi hey everyone, I gotta record this video because I have some people asking me about uh, about cleaning, how do I do to protect the floor. I was just telling the, the owner of the house here, like the, the best way to protect the floor, like you gotta have like, you buy those, this, uh, you buy this at Home Depot, it's very cheap. You can buy like I have this big one, two of these big ones and some a few of those straight one like that one you can protect the entrance but uh, the 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 main reason to protect the floor is like it's not that the chemical you hurt the floor the thing is if you if you don't protect the floor uh, you're gonna spill some chemical on the floor you're gonna step in it and 95% of the people they don't do a good job cleaning their floors so you're gonna walk in the dirt, you're gonna leave footprint everywhere in the house and people are gonna think that you stain the floor. So to avoid that headache, the best thing to do is like taking a little bit more time and protect the floor, like to to avoid that problem. Second, um, like I was up in this uh, showing here in this sofa, this is a polyester sofa and uh, it's really dirty, see this? This is normal in a lot of houses that I go, like uh, in the arm of the sofa, there's mud. But uh, if you t I even recorded here, I'm gonna put it here, the video. Right after I, I scrubbed it, it didn't look was there. It was, looked like the, the dirt was gone because I, I did uh, the agitation, the dirt goes down. Some people, they go after, they just wipe it uh, and they say, oh, look at that, I did a good job cleaning the floor, the, the, the sofa. But the problem is, when you you don't use a, a extraction, like a hot water extraction, you're going to leave like minimum 95% of the dirt behind. And a lot of people, they, they buy those bonded cleaning, and they go in people's house, and uh, they leave the house, people... Most of the time, people don't understand. They are very happy. They say, oh, you did a good job. But the thing is, 95% went down in the fabric. And uh, in about 15, 20 days, that dirt is going to start showing back up. And uh, you're going to maybe end up getting a bad review about it. So the best thing to do, the way I do it, I never save water. I, I open up my water here, you know, like this. See, like the, this is the way I use, because if you try to save water to clean, it's gonna dry faster, but you're gonna leave the dirt behind. And uh, another thing, you gotta have a, a good motors in on your machine. I'm gonna show you the later about the motors in this machine that I had, that I, I did an upgrade. I never you uh, I mean, unless if, uh, if the sofa is very, very, very dirty, I put water in the tank. Then I use the, the rinse to help cleaning the sofa. But in this case here, it's not that bad. I just connect the water right in the faucet. I got, I got water from the tap. It's not coming through the pump. I connect inside the heater. And then I connect in my two. That's the way I do most of the time for a mild service cleaning sofa. Like I said, if it is too dirty, the sofa is very, very dirty, you gotta put the water in the tank and uh, put the rinse to help out the cleaning. Okay?
so over here this machine I have like uh, those two three stage vac and one two stage in series and uh, I'm running here like about 35 35 feet of hose uh, of course I can hold I can run maybe 200 feet of hose in this machine easy so let me see like this is the the second one here is the three stage and this one I put like one three stage and one two stage in series <laughs> Three stage, three stage, two stage here. Yeah. 